Good morning. Uh, today is day five of our uh, touring around Croatia and uh, we will be leaving Šibenik shortly. Uh, today we're going to go to Krka uh, National Park, which is mostly famous for the waterfalls. Uh, before we leave, I just want to show you our apartment where we stayed because it's amazing and we really, really loved it. So obviously Bence. So yeah, this was our uh, bedroom. There's quite a few things around. We still we just packed. This was the window, which um, once you open, you have this amazing, amazing view from the city of the city. And uh, just a few steps away is the one of the fortress. And uh, I'll just quickly show the kitchen as well, which we actually used and cooked at. So this is the kitchen table and bathroom. I'm not going to show the bathroom. Anyway, so yeah, so we're off to the bus stop and then uh, we're going to see you at the waterfalls. <laughs> just have arrived to the stop from which one we're gonna head to the water toes. the only thing now we have to find where to drop the bags which is a bit of a mission because we don't have exact place in mind so we'll try a few hotels or hostels and uh, see if they can uh, take our bags for some time to drop our bags now we're on the way to the waterfalls and there's few options you can take a boat or you can do a hike and that's a queue behind me for the boat and it's, it's a good hundred meters I would say and bear in mind it's Monday so we, we chose to come on Monday because it's, we thought it would be less busier day uh, but it doesn't seem like it's quiet at all it seems very busy oh and you can just see the boat it's actually really cute but maybe next time. We are less than 20 minutes away and uh, the walk has been lovely with the scenic views. The color of the water is so gorgeous and uh, there's quite a few people walking uh, to the destination so we're always surrounded by, by people. Uh, so at the moment you can't swim in the waterfalls or any area surrounding the waterfall uh, but people could used to swim and Ben actually remembers and when he was when he visited this place last time he actually had a dip, didn't you? I did. We just reached the waterfalls and now we're trying to get to a spot where we could see it properly and take some pictures. It's really, really busy. There's so many people everywhere and uh, I actually can't imagine what it, this place would have looked like if people could swim. I think it's probably for the best if people can. There's uh, more movement, less clutter, but you can see it's very busy. We 
decided to sit down and uh, grab a bite because we're feeling quite hungry and uh, this is our lunch spot. Not too shabby. just did the whole walk around the waterfalls and it was amazing. I really enjoyed the, the walk in the forest, the little wooden path that takes you to different parts. I think that was, uh, to me, that was uh, really special. Uh, now we'll try to get on the boat because it goes every hour, every hour, half past. So there's one coming shortly. It's been very busy, but hopefully we can catch it. If not, we'll probably hike back to the city where we got off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Who's that? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say we made it. As you can see, we made it to the boat. Uh, we were nearly the last ones to get on, uh, so very lucky. And there was a bunch of people who were left behind. Uh, I don't know how long the boat ride takes. How long does it take? 25 minutes. So in 25 minutes, we'll be back to our. Uh, to the small town, we may sit down for a coffee and then we will take a bus to split. Uh, we just had a quick refreshment and now we're heading to the bus stop. First we're gonna pick our bags and then I'm gonna uh, head to the bus stop and uh, the camera is dying so I'll probably won't be able to record anything after this point but we'll see you in split.